Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Hello, Breaking Bread family. Thank you for joining me. This is Natasha Foreman. Welcome. I want us to focus our attention on the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, and we're going to look at line 30. The translation that I'm reading says, Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. We tend to be more concerned with what others think and say about us and how they view us than being concerned with living our life to the fullest as God intends, being comforted in the reality that in His eyes, we are perfect. We're obsessed with the approval of the creations, yet conditionally concerned about the Creator's approval. God is focused on the matters of our hearts, not how sexy or charming you are or can be. That is the flesh acting out, the tempting lure of the enemy. It can be said that to seduce someone means you have the ability to manipulate, control, and play mental games. Can you see how that skill can be perverted? When done for selfish gains and just to please the flesh, ask yourself if that sounds like alignment with our Heavenly Father or with the Father of Lies. Yeah. God wants us to treat our bodies like temples, remembering that they are on loan to us from Him. We're to worship Him with and through our bodies. He does not want us obsessed with our looks and that of others. For our looks may fade, but what's inside of us has the potential to get better with time. Don't waste your life attempting to get by with your good looks and witty charm, for that road will turn to a dead end. (laughs) And then what will you rely on? Don't be consumed with desire for a highly attractive mate and less concerned with their mind, spirit, soul, and commitment to our Heavenly Father. A shiny apple on the outside could be rotten to the core on the inside. Yeah. Let's pray on it. Father, you are my strength, comfort, and protector. I want to see myself as you see me. I want to focus on pleasing you and no one else. I want to live for your approval and no one else. My looks, intelligence, and wisdom are gifts from you. I grow through applied knowledge and lessons learned through experiences that you provide. I thank you. I love you, Father, and praise you for blessing me with a relationship with you and my life that you say is worthy and important. In your name, I pray. Amen. Here's some parting words. Live well, eat healthy, exercise regularly, fuel your mind with great books, make sure to frequently study the good book, treat others with respect and dignity, take care of yourself, Appreciate every experience life brings and devote yourself to God. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings and that you're a blessing to others. I love you all. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.